This is what they came for. It was to the late 60s and they were not happy with the fact that America was going to war. They wanted to break free from traditional social norms. So they started to move west to a place where they could be themselves, find peace, bring their guitars and their art. And this is what they came for. Of course, when they came, the vehicle of choice was the Type 2 Volkswagen minibus. A legend in its own right. And as they say, legends never die. They're only reborn. And today, back at the LA Motor Show, Volkswagen have revived a legend. And they're back in the buzz with the ID Buzz. Now, Tesla might have established its supremacy in mainstream segments like sedans, hatchback, sports car, and so on. Other brands are now targeting territories that Tesla hasn't looked into. And one of these is then Volkswagen. The German brand has dipped its feet into the minivan market space and Glenn is having a look at it at the LA Auto Show right now. So welcome to Michelin Motor Show updates, ladies and gentlemen. And we here are talking of the van's face that gets a deep V from the original micro bus. It almost looks like a face with the LED lamps as the eyes and another LED strip at the bottom that makes it look like the smiling lips. In fact, the LEDs can actually look in the direction of where you are turning. If there is a biker or a pedestrian in front, the ID bus can actually wink. I mean, turn off the LEDs to stop blinding them. It might look boxy, but the front is aerodynamically shaped to reduce wind resistance. The Volkswagen ID Buzz is an electric autonomous level 4 bus. It's built on the familiar skateboard architecture that most EVs employ. Volkswagen calls it the Modular Electric Architecture, MEB. There is no engine at the front, instead it has a front trunk. The ID Buzz gets a single electric motor in unit with the final drive mechanism that's positioned between the rear wheels. The battery pack is integrated with the flow structure to keep the CG as low as possible. At the front of ID Buzz, you have a bench seat alongside the driver's seat, which can easily seat two people. Now this is an autonomous vehicle. The interesting thing is that Volkswagen is pitching the ID Buzz for commercial space. So when you consider urban environments, for example, or delivery trucks, electric makes a lot more sense in, at places like these. Now if you look behind, there's a cargo compartment which shelved with a very versatile design. These can be adjusted to accommodate and secure any kind of luggage you would want to transport. In all, the ID Buzz can carry 800 kg of payload. Now it might be targeted as a commercial vehicle, but it's no slow poke. It is available in several powertrain options, the most powerful of which is going to make it sprint from 0 to 100 in 5 seconds. Acceptable. The top speed is going to be limited to 160 kmph. Very acceptable. Now there are two lithium ion battery options, 48 kWh to 111 kWh for a range of up to 550 kilometers. That's impressive. And then there's a solar roof which can add 15 kilometers to the range. Boy, boy, am I looking forward towards the EV world. It has 150 kilowatt DC fast charging which can charge the 111 kWh battery to 80% in half an hour and the 48 kWh battery in just 15 minutes. There are several countries which have been working towards getting regulations in place to make it convenient for businesses to use EVs for their commercial purposes. Unfortunately, there are no signs of such a regulation yet in India. But who knows? We look forward towards the future and we look forward towards more coming up right our way from the floors of LA. Thanks folks for watching Michelin Motor Show updates. I'll see you again soon, very soon. So here's a question for you guys. If you could revive a classic vehicle of your choice today, which one would it be and why? Why don't you let us know in the comments below.